Welcome back. It's 445 here. Good morning to you. If you're just joining us, it's another nice start. We've got 60s on the North Shore and 70s on the South Shore. We are seeing the humidity creep on, but uh, creep back into the area, but not too bad. Uh, this afternoon, though, we're really going to warm things up again. We'll be in the upper 80s. Still quite warm for early October, but overall a nice day with sunshine, outdoor things. Do them today because tomorrow you're going to be dodging showers. We have a 60% chance of those showers passing through on and off Thursday afternoon and then more passing showers on Friday. It's not an all day washout type of thing, but certainly at times the rain could be coming down and look what it does to your temperatures. It knocks those down into the low to mid 80s. Now tomorrow we're not looking at a significant weather risk with anything, but there are a couple of showers that could be heavy. I don't see a lot of movement with showers, so if you do get trapped under one, a quick couple of inches that can lead to street flooding when how that goes and I do see a chance for some gusty winds with a couple of these showers outside of that. That's about what we're going to be watching on Thursday with the potential for some street flooding being the main thing we watch for on Friday. Still a couple of showers, but notice for the weekend plans, things start to trend down. I know we've got a lot going on this weekend with festivals. Uh, we've got the Ripper, Richard Simmons things going on across towns. I know they're celebrating his life, so just keep in mind there may be a couple of showers around the area, but things are trending drier as we head through the weekend and then early next week. I think a lot of the moisture is going to be pulled towards Florida and a week cool front's going to come down. Now we are still watching the Gulf of Mexico through the weekend and early next week for some development. The good news is the National Hurricane Center is still not being very aggressive. The models are not being aggressive here, so it still looks like development remains somewhat uncertain. A couple different things we're watching the Bay of Campeche down here. We may see some weak low pressure form down there in the next few days out here in the Northwest Caribbean, a disturbance lifting to the north. So all this coming together more than likely for some broad low pressure in the Gulf of Mexico. You can see that tropical moisture. There's our tropical moisture today and tomorrow. But once we get into the weekend, really the Gulf of Mexico is the hot spot for those tropical rains. This is when we likely start to see that low pressure form and then watch low pressure slowly coming together through the weekend and early next week and then getting pulled towards Florida as that weak cool front drapes down upper level trough begins to pull this all to the east and we get some nice dry air through next week. So with this type of setup, we would not see a lot of rain locally through the weekend and early next week. Now tomorrow and Thursday or to Thursday and Friday, the shower is not really associated with that disturbance itself, but you can see there through the weekend through early next week, a lot of the rain falling in the Gulf and then spreading off towards Florida. So I think Florida is probably where we see some of our higher totals and notice we're right on that dividing line of where we could see some higher rain totals, but really slow development through the Gulf and pushing off towards Florida seems to be like the best trend at this moment uh, with the forecast. Elsewhere, we've still got Kirk. It is now a hurricane in category one invest 91. Kirk is expected to become a major storm here in the next day or so. It continues to intensify and then curving out the sea, missing all land. So good news there uh, behind that is future Leslie. This could travel a little bit closer to the islands in the next seven days. Certainly want to keep an eye on that for the Caribbean islands, but really doesn't look like there's a chance of that getting into the Gulf the way it looks right now. So our seven day enjoy today. It's beautiful 89 and sunny passing showers tomorrow, watching for locally heavy rain at times, along with some gusty winds with showers. Still a few showers, rumbles of thunder on Friday, and then once we get into the weekend, I do think there will be a couple of showers on Saturday but things trending drier through the end of the week and the next week waiting on that week front to arrive. It's not going to bring chilly temperatures, but should bring nice weather through the middle of next week. Brandon.